Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hezekiah on a Stool. I'm Eric, and I'm here with your good friend and mine, Hezekiah. We have a great show in store for you today. Later, Professor Amanda will be joining us to talk about existentialism, and she has a few little-known facts about Soren Kierkegaard that are going to surprise you. Stick around for Professor Amanda. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about prayer. Hezekiah has brought in one of his favorite books. Do you have that, Steve? Thank you. Hezekiah brought in Beautiful Moon, A Child's Prayer by Tanya Bolden. It's really a lovely book, and we'll read that in a few minutes. Before we do, I would like to say a word about prayer. Prayer really is just communication with God. It's our way to express our thoughts and our feelings, our hopes and our dreams, our fears to God. We can pour out whatever's in our hearts to God, knowing and believing that God listens to us and cares. And so today's book is a story about prayer. And let's get to that right now. You want me to read, Hezekiah? Oh, thank you. Beautiful Moon, A Child's Prayer by Tanya Bolden, illustrated by Eric Velasquez. The amber orb floats, washing the night with a radiant glow. Stars hide, only city lights glitter. It's not a silent night. Car horns beep and blare. There is music in the air. And someone calls out, I love you. A little boy wakes up, scrambles out of bed, drops to his knees. He forgot to say his prayers. Just before he shuts his eyes, he spots a wonder in the sky. What a beautiful moon, he whispers. Then he bows his head. Blocks away, a woman, bundled up, a park bench her bed, gazes at the beautiful moon, willing herself warm. The little boy prays for people with no homes. Closer by, a man on a train gives no heed to night sights speeding by. He does not see the beautiful moon. His mind is on his daughter, a soldier in a distant land. The little boy prays for wars to end. Across town, an old man in a hospital room wishes for a window, imagining that if he could see a starry night or behold a beautiful moon, he would slip into soothing sleep. The little boy prays for the sick to be healed. Around the corner, by the light of the beautiful moon, Sad souls stare at bare kitchen cabinets, longing to see them stocked with rice and beans, noodles and peas, chicken soup and cereal. The little boy prays for people, little and big, to have the food they need. The little boy prays for Grandma Grace, for Mommy, Daddy, 
for his baby sister Sydney, for Mikey, his turtle, for his teacher to read a story every day. He promises that when tomorrow night comes, he won't forget to pray. And the beautiful moon goes on its way. The end. And this book is dedicated to all those in need of prayer. Thanks for bringing in your book, Hezekiah. It is a good read. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? All right, then. Unfortunately, we're out of time, so we'll invite Professor Amanda back to another show. Before we go, we want to say thank you to our sponsor, Geometry. Geometry, we have just the right shape for work or play. My name is Eric, and on behalf of the whole crew and Hezekiah, I want to wish you a great day, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.